And Lord, accept the gifts we present as we celebrate this mystery of the suffering and death of your Son. May we share in the eternal life he won for us, for he is the Lord forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. And Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. The days of his life-giving death and glorious resurrection are approaching. This is the hour when he triumphed over Satan's pride, the time when we celebrate the great event of our redemption. Through Christ, the angels of heaven offer their praise of adoration as they rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices be one with theirs in their triumphant hymn of praise. the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. And he gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread and this saving cup, And we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. And Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Benedict our Pope, Thomas our Bishop, and the entire church. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all and make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. And may we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, All glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. 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 
Faithful to the teaching of Jesus, we pray just as he taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all needless anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. In Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and the unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer to each other a sign of that peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world and happy are we who are called to share in this supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. With those of you at home, join with me now in this prayer of St. Thomas Aquinas. Grant me, O Lord my God, a mind to know you, a heart to seek you, wisdom to find you, conduct pleasing to you, faithful perseverance in waiting for you, and a hope of finally embracing you. Amen. And let us pray. All-powerful God, the Eucharist proclaims the death of your Son. Increase our faith in its saving power and strengthen our hope in the life it promises. And we ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Have a good day. Our thanks to Miss Patricia O'Brien from Hamilton, Ontario, whose generous contribution made the televising of today's Mass possible. On Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Holy Saturday, Father Michael Coots of the Society of Jesus will lead us in a special triduum. Please join us at this very same time.